Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a great day. Today's video is a tutorial on how to perfect and master contouring and highlighting. This is like pretty much everybody's struggle. This is like their best friend, their worst friend. It's one of those like you want to achieve like the best of your the best looking face that you can, but like halfway going through it, you're like, oh no, too much color, or oh no, it's too heavy, or oh no, I don't want to do this, and you have to like restart all over again. No. With this, with contouring and highlighting, you're pretty much bringing forward the, 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 your features that you actually love and that you want to bring out forward, and then you're hiding features that you want to recede a little backwards and give more like chisel shape and like if you want to look skinnier, if you want to look longer, if you want it to look, um, a little like as if you got some work done here and there but pretty much that's what highlighting and contouring is all about the two and two go hand in hand and I think for myself personally I've not like mastered it but I have gotten to the technique that has worked for me and this technique was something that I learned using during during my master makeup mastery classes that make up forever so um Items I use here, I will list them below. I already have my eye makeup done so that you guys can see what I look, my flawless um, looking face. Um, as you can tell, like my face is round and it has, it's a little long too, but I, for me personally, when it comes to contouring, like I want to show that I have cheekbones because you can't really see it. I do have like chubby cheeks and also the big forehead too. So for me, like when it comes to contouring, like I just want to make everything look a little bit slimmer. Um, I don't have much of a bridge on my nose. I don't really contour my nose as much, but I know a lot of people, they do that as well. So, pretty much with this tutorial, I'm just going to go through the steps of contouring and highlighting. And also, I don't have anything on my face, so I'm also going to go through the motions of applying my foundation and concealer and everything. So, before I start with all that, I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Elixir. This is pretty awesome. I use a foundation brush and just start in the middle of my face and just blend outwards. Then I'm going to apply the Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade 153. This is what it looks like. This is like one of my favorite foundations right now. Um, good buildable coverage and um, I mean perfect if you're ever behind an HD camera which for me I am not. I don't work in an industry where I have to be behind a camera, I work in an industry where I'm behind a computer all day. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna do, I usually only need a pump, pump and a half a little bit of product, and I'm gonna use the same foundation brush that I used with um, my primer. I'm just gonna brush off the excess. And again, I'm just gonna start in the middle of my face and blend outwards. I blend out my foundation all over my face. I'm going to go ahead and conceal the dark circles underneath my eyes using the Makeup Forever HD Concealer in the shade 40. This is the pen. This is what it looks like. Just a couple of clicks here, here, and um, just apply this baby right underneath the eyes. It's definitely great for hiding the dark circles, for really hiding any imperfections and and um, like any pigmentation that you might have underneath your eyes. So I'm just going to use my ring finger and just gently pat this underneath my under circle, my under eye area. I want to first start off with my highlight. Um, the highlight I'm using is actually from Benefit Cosmetics. It's their high beam. Um, this is like one of their really pretty popular highlights. When it comes to highlight, you want to bring things forward. So you want to apply highlight on your highest parts of your face. So right here on the cheekbones, if you touch your face, you'll feel the, feel the cheekbone you, and you'll also, whenever you highlight, you'll like to highlight underneath the highest part of your eyebrows, which is underneath your arch. So when you highlight, you want to create a C shape around the eye because that's where the sun will naturally hit your face and you want to give that nice like radiant glow around your eyes and makes your eyes look like magical and mystical too. I'm going to start off right at the end here, right on the outside of my brow and drag the highlight down, but I'm not gonna pass the midpoint of my eyelid. Bring it down, and then blend it upwards, right above the um, eyebrows, and then 
I'm just going to start gently patting it outwards, blending out the highlight. So after highlighting, I'm going to go ahead and contour. Now when you contour your face, not everybody has the same face shape, so the technique of sucking in your cheeks and just putting on bronzer and like applying it really deep into your cheekbones does not work for everybody because everybody has a different face shape. So what you really want to do if you don't know how to contour your face is to really explore your face and figure out like the shape, where your cheekbones are, where it's hollow, where it's not hollow. Um, and also you want to know what you want to have, what face you're trying to achieve. If you want to try to make it thinner, if you want to make it longer, if you want to make, make a nose appear, if you don't want it to appear. So when you're contouring your face, you are actually creating shadow. When you're contouring your face, the contour comes from somewhere. So when you are going to contour your face, you actually start in the back, right along where your ears are. Then you work down to your face and then you're creating the number three. You start from the back here and you work right to where like the puffiness of your cheeks are and then you work up into your hairline and you work down into your jawline. Again, you're starting from the back and you're working your way forward. Now when you're contouring, you don't want to contour like going down because we don't want our faces to go down. We want our faces to go up. We want to lift our faces. So whenever you're blending out your brush, when you're blending out your bronzer, in the direction of your brush you should be always blending upwards, not downwards, if that makes any sense. So, after saying all that, I'm going to use the sculpting kit from Makeup Forever. That's what it looks like. This is in the shade number three. The brush I'm using is from Crown Brushes. It's an angled dome brush. Um, I, prefer, I really like using angled brushes because it really helps get into the shape of your cheekbones and like the hollowness of your cheeks as well. So, dabbing this into, my, into the contour bronzer. Um, start here in the hairline and I'm just going to create I'm just going to blend downwards and then I'm going to curve it up because what I'm going to do afterwards is I'm going to blend upwards it's just with a couple of strokes of my brush using the bronzer you can already see a lift in my right cheek compared to my left cheek so after applying enough product I'm just going to start blending up into the cheekbone Again, I'm not brushing downwards, I'm brushing upwards. I want to blend it up. And then I'm going to start blending it up into my hairline. I really want to hide and thin out my forehead because it's so huge. And just picking up a little bit more product. I'm going to start here in the back of my in the back where my ear is and start blending down along my jawline. Then just to finish off the look, I'm going to apply some blush. This is from MAC. This is the blush in the shade Pinch Me. Absolute favorite right now. I love this color. I can open it. This is what it looks like. And the brush I'm using is from MAC. It's their um, 109 brush. I'm just tapping off the excess. I'm just going to apply the blush in between the highlighter and my bronzer. So like right here, like right on the cheekbone. And I'm going to start back here and I'm just going to start and create a line downwards. And it will just give a nice color onto my cheeks. So here is the final look and I can already see a difference with my face and just giving more definition and chisel and just letting my cheeks pop up a little more. So I hope you guys found this video informative. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Again, items I use, I will list them down below so you guys can go check that out. And uh, thanks for watching and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.